welcome back to the course. So in this video, I want to talk about an important component in recording video, especially the talking head video like this, which is lighting and also the composition of your recording area. So as far as lighting goes, there are again uh, really expensive equipment that you can buy uh, to accomplish the uh, effect of an overall uh, even and consistent uh, tone and also a bright background. But really, we're talking about using less than $100 to create something like the video I'm doing right now. So I prefer to use natural sunlight. Now, of course, uh, the sun is your best friend, but the sun really doesn't read for anyone. So the sun, you know, it moves, right? So sunlight is good and with sunlight, uh, especially if you have a way to control the sunlight like I will, I will show you in a while then you can uh, easily uh, limit or increase the amount of sunlight that is hitting you while you record the video but sunlight also has its limitations uh, especially if you are like me and you're in Malaysia it, the weather can be quite unpredictable so uh, in the early morning you have of course sunlight but it's slightly different type of sunlight in terms of the tone and as well as the angle of the sunlight compared to the afternoon and the evening and in Malaysia like while I'm recording uh, this video it seems to rain every evening so there's a definite time limit there that you can take advantage of the sunlight so as for the background um, there are many ways to do it but if you can try to get a solid wall or a solid uh, screen that you can use as the background and make sure that you are far enough in front uh, from your background so that you don't create a shadow. So you can of course find a spot in your room or office where you can get good direct sunlight and, gen and from then you can just um, edit your position between your laptop and the background so that you get an even consistent tone for yourself and no shadow. So this is how uh, my setup actually looks like. So when you can see it from this angle, you can see that I'm using really amateur stuff, right? I have my window right in front of me and I get natural sunlight from there. And this background is actually just a projector screen. And if I move my computer a little bit, then the effect is gone. And you can see that it's an actual computer screen. So I have positioned it perfectly like this and I'm actually sitting down on a chair. I can stand up but really it gets a bit tiring after a while so I prefer to sit down and the natural sunlight from the window in front will um, reflect through the projector screen at the back and reflect back on me therefore there's less of a shadow created. However, there's still of course a shadow created if I go too near to the background. And if I go too far in front, um, then the overall exposure and lighting changes as well. So when you're using basic tools like your uh, laptop and your webcam to record, you can get consistent quality recording, but you must be a little restrained in your movement. So because uh, if I move in front and I move to the back, you will notice one thing is that the uh, webcam or the camera in my MacBook Air will sometimes automatically adjust the brightness and exposure. So to avoid that, I stay in one spot and I just use the natural sunlight as well as a background that can be anything as long as it looks good in the recording area that you want to use. And that works for almost any kind of video that you want to create. Now, if you want to put some kind of text in either side here, then you can move to the left or to the right, position yourself back like this and you need to find the exact uh, proper position and now you have a lot of room here to edit or to put any text or graphic that you want to use. So as far as uh, getting good quality video, you just need basic sunlight and a little bit of planning and you can get really good results.